You are taking a walk in nature, enjoying the bugs, birds, and leaves, when you start to wonder, why are so many things in nature symmetrical? An object is symmetrical when it can be divided into identical, or nearly identical, parts of the same size on an axis. You start to collect leaves, grasses, pine cones, flowers, and anything else interesting that you think might be symmetrical. There are two types of symmetry, reflective symmetry, which is when one half of an object is identical to the other half along a line through the center of the object, and rotational symmetry, which can also be called radial symmetry, is when you can rotate an object around a point multiple times and see the same image repeated. An object that is not symmetric is called asymmetric. You can use a mirror to check if an object has reflective symmetry. For example, if I take this leaf and place the mirror at its center, I can see where the line of symmetry is. The line of symmetry is an axis, or imaginary line, which we can envision to divide this leaf into identical halves. This hostile leaf is also symmetrical, because both sides of the leaf look the same. So with this sweet pea blossom. This cedar leaf appears to be asymmetrical, but if you look at it closely, you can see that it is symmetrical as well. You realize butterflies and moss are also symmetrical. Even this cat that is wandering across my workspace has reflective symmetry. Our imaginary line of symmetry can also be called a sagittal plane because it divides the cat into right and left halves. On the outside, both sides of this cat look identical. But it is important to remember that on the inside, organs such as the heart are more to one side of the body than the other. All these examples show plane or bilateral symmetry, which is a type of reflective symmetry. The other type of reflective symmetry is point symmetry. You can't see point symmetry without a microscope, but it's still out there in nature. Point symmetry is when you can divide an object into two identical parts by imagining a line of symmetry anywhere on the object. For example, a circle has point symmetry because I can divide it here and both sides look the same, but if I divide it here, here, or here, all the halves are still identical. Some protozoa, which are made up of only one cell and are very, very tiny, also have point symmetry. Some animals, which live in the water and have radiating parts, have point symmetry as well. Now you decide to look at plants with rotational symmetry. This bird's foot trefoil has rotational symmetry because you can divide it seven different ways and it still looks similar. This lily also has rotational symmetry. One of the blossoms on this sweet william, this yellow flower, and this apple, when you cut it horizontally, all have pentaradial symmetry because they can be divided five different ways and still be identical. While I am making this, it's summer, so I don't have any snow to look at, but individual snowflakes also have rotational symmetry, and if I make a paper snowflake, I can see the rotational symmetry. You think this daisy might have rotational symmetry, but it's hard to tell with all the petals. Also, if you look closely, the center is spirally, and spirals are definitely not symmetrical. This pine cone is also spirally. Hmm. You'll have to look for spirally plants next time you go for a walk. Bingo up.